Well, I'm gonna take coffee up, what's it up? You'll you'll mock out uh mate who up, give me hang a high day, you'll mock out what ご視聴ありがとうございました<音楽><音楽><音楽> Share a brief 
<laughs> emphasize grief. Um, an introduction to your campaign. And then of course, we want to know why, why are you looking to stand in local, local council this year? Um, but again, I just want us to put, us, put our hands together for all of the, everyone who's arrived here tonight and also our candidates. <laughs> Um, so I'm mainly just like house rules too. Um, and so if you need if, if you need to go to the party puppy, please just go straight out the door and it's the, both both the men and the women party puppy is at the back there. Um, we encourage you if you want to continue wearing your mask, please do so. Um, otherwise feel free to take them off. Uh, we will leave the door open just so that it's like you know it's a little bit hot in here tonight. Um, but I want to make a special mention of um, our time we live. So tonight's event is brought to you by one, Tony Fitter New Zealand, which is myself and Kirsty, and also Time We Live. Um, so please put your hands together for Time We Live. Um, so Alain Fakaritinga Mutupone. Um so tonight we're going to again this is really the first part section of tonight is, really, is an opportunity to hear directly from our tuakana, so those who have been occupying um, or in local government in, in key roles at the moment. And then um, after dinner, so emphasise dinner, because that's when we're all going to break at 7.30, bang on the dot. We're going to rearrange the room somewhat when everyone's having a kai, and then we'll all come back in. And I'll ask for all the candidates that when you do come back in, just to take a seat up, up at the front. A point? Awesome. Okay, so without no further ado, um, I'm going to introduce to you our first speaker for the evening. Um, so, uh, Tipa Mahuta, she's from Ngāti, uh, Mahuta Ngāti Manu. Um, descent, she is currently the Ngāhawe Fa Waikato Regional um, Councillor. Um, and also as the regional representative for Te Marama Te Roku Whakahaere, um, local government New Zealand, and very well decorated and means the other directorships and other roles that she's involved in. So please find out, put your hands together for Tupa Mahi. <laughs> Was a bit of a, you know, um, 
upgrade from plenty mana but not quite much more than that in my community. Council was somebody that took something from us, didn't do anything for us, yeah. and that we paid our um, rates to. That was the relationship that my part of community had with council. They wouldn't slow down our roads, they wouldn't help us, um, you know, make the marae entry safer, things like this. They, they seem to be something that didn't help. So when I can try to convince my partner while I was standing for council, they'll go, he won't be more filthy or whatever. He is there space for you in that work. And I tell you, I didn't do it out of some big civic duty. I followed the decision making for our river all the way to who makes the baddest ones that was the one to reach my home. And then when I tried to convince other people who I thought were more ready to stand, they went, nah, check out. So I said, okay, I'll back myself. So the first time I stood, I was unsuccessful. I stood in the Waikato um, general seat for the regional council. So if you know where that is, that's kind of from Huntley up to Hokinoish, takes in 10k, and most of them are red band gum boot wearing no Māori. Yeah? So I was the opposite of what they wanted to see at the candidate who. I was the youngest in the room generally and the only woman sitting up there as a candidate. Except for my one, Jenny Hayman, maybe. Um, <coughs> but they, after listening to me, they said, You know what? You sure you're from Honey Wild? You sound pretty intelligent up there. <laughs> and I'm looking at them thinking, Are you from real? Hey, um, we are, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, they just had never heard my voice. So it was very unlikely, and I knew it, that they were going to get out and put their vote on, on my name. And then I, again, I came forth and had to be one of the first three. But I thought, oh, well, you know, hey, some people showed up and voted. Hey, a few hundred of my whanau and the rest just said, oh, cuz, sorry, it's still on the fridge, that envelope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, because, again, we haven't engaged in this space for a long time, so be kind to your own whanau. Okay? And, and my first campaign, I just went to every hui I could find on and said, every kazi, tell that kazi, vote for tipa. <laughs> and a whole lot of people did, they just didn't post it in. <laughs> and the regional council moved there proactively before this last round. I said, yeah, I'm going to go at that. And so I did, and Timothy Bramley and I were fortunate enough to be the first two elected into the regional council. Now, you're going to have a term like my first term where it's so new for council, it's almost a novelty. Yeah? It's novel. They've been talking for you this whole time. All of a sudden, you show up? Yeah. Hey? Beautiful. And they can't um, actually... Forgive that, like you have to be really kind to them and say, Hey, I'm here now, I can speak, I'm that voice. Uh, yep. You don't have to speak for me anymore, take the AA, and I'll bring all the people into the room that need to be in the room. So I was very clear entering into that space that I am not the voice of the mana, I just have to open the door for them to come in. I don't have to represent every Māori in the region, I just have to make sure they know where the door is, they know how to get their tucker to the table, and that's addressed. Because we all can't be everything. Mm. Yeah, I, could, I could claim a bit of rangatahi nine years ago now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got two more colours and another grey hair, so I can't claim that space anymore. And any more theatre. So again, it was introducing not only to so council staff are normally more ready, and they really want to help you. And I spoke to this consistently over my term. They really want to help you. A couple of things about campaigning, and I've seen this, and I've spoken to it briefly about the public title. If, you all, if we all agree good conduct, there can be a whanau tana now and afterwards whoever's successful. So if you are standing for two seats and there's seven of you, consider the other five your friends afterwards. Because they'll, still, they'll be the people most likely to help bring kaupapa to the table for you and with you. Okay? So how you build that whanau tana, and I'm saying it can be done. Um, my first time round was Uncle Lad, uh, a couple of other people, and we all just agreed whoever was in Katie Pai Pai, to take a book out our day. And they were really my best supporters when I got through the door. Um, by two days, I think one for the other one. But anyway, Kai Mantu a Rato Katua, and then they looked after me when I got the seat, and all their expectations too. Uh, <laughs> and and their talk to and everything. So, with every one of you who's successful, there will be a couple who aren't, but find a place for them, because there's heaps of room in local government for great Māori. Yeah, so that that's, if I'll give you anything, it's that. Um, 
one way is we're really we really find it hard a lot of us. I don't know if it's just a far thing or just a thing thing to talk ourselves up. Right? But talk yourself up too much. So some things I did, I've got other people to interview me. I've got Rangatahi to interview me. And now you've got Facebook and it's much more usable. So rather than you stay there and say, oh, I'm la la, doing la la, and get someone to ask you why you're doing it, ask you all the questions from your community. And that way, hey, the Kumara can talk. Because <laughs> 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 you're not necessarily talking about yourself, you're talking to stuff that matters to That's people, oh, that matters to your communities that you come from. Um, create opportunities for each other. So I found out about all these candidate events. I told every candidate that was in our electorate to come so that we could have a good cordial. Okay? Otherwise, people were just getting there on one night, then on another night, so on and so forth. So don't be scared of that. But we have to help change the narrative, whanau, because it's very bleak and very whitewashed in a lot of the places we're going to be entering. And the hardest thing will be to stay who you are, not become what they what is acceptable for that forum. So if you know the tikanga is wrong, make order look like it. And you don't have to know what the tikanga is all the time. You can say, oh, have you spoken to some Kaimatu about these arrangements? Don't you think we should? <laughs> have our councils of Kaimatu <laughs> to consider these arrangements? All of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then again, if you're lucky enough to have more than um, one Māori at your council, form the alliance. Because mm -hmm. uh, we don't need to be council. We can hold different opinions, but we don't need to hold it against each other. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes you come to a council, you think, man, how could I know getting on? But we're representing the diversity of opinion that is all the Māori in our region. Yeah? But fundamentally, we respect one another enough to hold those positions. Right. And then on the big things, we lean in. We've had a hui before the hui. Yeah. And then we come to a consensus about what it is. Um, but you lose nothing for trying, don't you? Uh, you lose nothing for trying. Um, I'm so proud that we have mural candidates this time, you? Yeah, you know? Yeah. That wasn't a thing before. So, Nama Hinui Kia Kia Hama, Koro Ko Tuku Panai Na Kuri. You know, that, that, that we've got candidates in every seat. There are regions that right up until last week had no one standing in some of the Māori groups. And it's a use it or lose it kind of privilege. You know what I mean? So, um, and then my last one is it's never too young to start. Because uh, if I was too young for my council, I was 20 years younger than anyone in the room when I started at Region. <coughs> they were just old, eh? <laughs> 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 they tried to make it my problem. I said, you could have just been here too long. <laughs> and my joke used to be Regional Council was where old mayors come to put out to punish them. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. it, you know. <laughs> but who are you? So, so don't uh, age, gender, or ethnicity, or any other ethnicity. <laughs> <laughs> because, oh, you know, I'll be man's flame, brown's flame, you know. Um, and all since I came to local government, because people thought it was quite appropriate for them to share their ignorance with me. So know yourself. Yeah. Know what triggers you and find a safe place for you. Because you don't have to put the flag up on every issue. Hey, keep your powder dry. Say, is that my tucky? Or should I go get a few other friends from local government and, and they help me before we take it on board? Or actually, is this something for Te Marata, the local members network to take up? Because this is bigger than me. Hey, not every fight is your fight. I didn't know that when I got it, every fight was <laughs> You know, and there's heaps of codes of conduct that I've talked to, I've exposed myself on that. Because I didn't know how to behave, and they were ruggedly trying to condition me. But I realised that some of those behaviours just were just not of the marae. Right? Because at the marae, you speak your truth, you, you all hold it, you sort it out there. But, and when you walk away for that kai, kua noa katoa ngā kūmeo. Yeah. And local government, I realise that carries that cord on and on and on and on better than all of us, eh? And it scared some of my opportunities at council. But anyway, I've sucked up enough oxygen. I just want to quickly, I can see you at the back end. Uh, Tracy, two, two, my
hard actually starting off with Tipper because I just oh, wish yeah. all, so all the gems. Um, but I'm sure everyone else has some other really cool gems to share with us this evening. Um, I probably, we probably should have left out like pens and paper so everyone will like, you know, taking notes of all of this tonight. But um, if you have your cell phones, by all means, please feel free to use your cell phones to take notes. Um, we are going to do Q&A's, but we're actually going to save that to the end. Because first let's just get through the gems, and then we'll go over some of the, um, some, some of the part time. Um, so of course, next, next up we have tonight, which is um, her, um, Tipper's other mate, again in the Waikato Regional Council. So um, Katarina, uh, Katarina Hodge. So uh, Katarina is the uh, Ngātoi Kuta Waikato Regional Councillor, also the Chair of the Laukawa uh, Settlement Trust. Um, and as well was voted in in that role. Actually, he's came in on the same year, right? I've wanted to Oh, okay. Okay. And so tonight we have the opportunity of hearing from two um, councillors in the Waikato Regional Council. So please put your hands together for Katarana Hodge. <laughs> Ne uri a ho ki Rokawa Manipoto o Ngāti Tauwi, Ngāti Kawa, Ngāti Tiuro, Ngāti Tuara, Ngāti Haua hoki. Ko Katahara Hautaho. I, I am her partner in, in the Regional Council and I followed Tipa as the Deputy Chair. So Tipa was lucky enough in her first two, three years, six years to be Deputy Chair. And this term, um, it was our, my turn. So I guess you can say that Māori, we have been the deputy chair for the last nine years for the regional council. Awesome. So thank you. <laughs> and and, and Cohen's right, you know, nobody wants to go out to Tipper. Tipper, what on earth could I say that is any different to Tipper? Um, and, and, and the difference, I guess, is, is the area that I, I am the constituent councillor for, which is, is uh, about 100. 50 to 100,000 people less than Tipper because I, I go from, um, uh, I go all the way to Moko, over to Tūrangi, Tūwharepuro, Wharepuro, Rotorua, the Coromandel Peninsula. But I don't do Hamilton City and I don't do Tūko. And the reason I say she's got more people than me is mine is based on the land. It's, it's totally land based, you know, and uh, the majority of land is taken up by. Uh, white farmers, so you know, that <laughs> money that goes to me very little. But I do have to give my, my aroha and thanks to our iwi of the Tainu Waka, um, Hauraki, uh, Manipoto, Rokawa, and um, not Wakatani because they're not in my area, but <laughs> Tuwharetua, Tarek, uh, they, are, they are the ones who got behind me to, to help vote for me to get into that space that I'm in today. So uh, I'm really, really thankful for them, and I tried. My first three years with Hodaki was a little bit slimish, you know, uh, but this last term, um, I've been up there quite often, and I've enjoyed going up there, being over to Moko, you know, and that's what you, if you're the, um, I don't know how it works in the general side, because your, your constituent space is, is not as large, but one thing you need to get out is to, um, have a relationship with your other partner in there and travel with them wherever they go, whether it's for mainstream or Māori. Um, and what we do in the regional council has been really good. Our other constituent members, um, if they are anywhere within our area, they ring me up and or pick her up and they go, oh look, I'm gonna go here, you wanna come? A and I do the same. So so we, we marry each other because as much as I am the Māori ward councillor, not all Māori are on the Māori rock, mm -hmm. you know, and I love using that, and you know, my cousin goes, you haven't helped me with this. I said, you're not on the Māori rock. <laughs> <laughs> I said, get on the Māori rock, and I'll come and help you. So, you know, that, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. Like doing that. But how yeah, hard does that go the wrong? I'm not really sure. <laughs> but at the end of the day, uh, Māori are Māori, whether we're in that at that end of the, of the spectrum or on the Māori role, unfortunately, 
we have to have them anyway. So <laughs> it really annoys you on occasions because you know they they either don't vote or they are on our general roll. Yeah. So you can't win at the end of the day. And, and and you only need one or two votes more than the other person to get it anyway. So here yeah, no, <laughs> But when you're there, when you're there, I um when you're at the table, especially our table, there's fourteen of us. And, and Tippa is correct, her and I, we don't debate at the table. That's not our space to do that. We're the only Māori at the table. Well, not true. We're the only Māori who believe we are Māori. The other two are <laughs> 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 And I just got to the uh, council, uh, council, you know, uh, I, 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 I know Papa Papa quite well. And, and of course, our mate from Matamata I said to him, you are bloody burka, and he goes, that's right. I said, well, you are just about as much Māori as I have, and you, and you are a Māori, don't forget that. He said, oh, that's six generations ago. I said, I don't care if it's 20 generations ago, you're still a Māori. Oh, you know? and, and, and he really came on work after a while, you know? And then the other one, of course, is my other mate, Stu, husband. Yeah, he's, you know, uh, and, and at the table, somebody says, um, what does Māori do about this and that? I said, uh, we're not the only Māori at this table, and we're new. Go and ask those other two. You know? uh, so it's, it's just yeah. aligning, making those other two realise, hey, yeah. you're just as much as we are. And you, I said to them, you've got money in your constituency. You know, mm. you cannot not be one. But in saying that, I've enjoyed my years there. Um, I've never wanted to stand there. I was too busy doing a whole lot of other <coughs> things. But I do enjoy being there. I do, there are some awesome people around the table. Absolutely awesome. Of course, there's some unawesome ones, <laughs> <laughs> as you would know, you know. But, but that, that's, that's, that's beside the point. No matter what, you've got the same in your whanau anyway. So, hey, uh, but, but I do believe that Tippa and I's relationship at that table is really, it's genuine. Yeah. Um, we up each other, and she's right, if we have a tahi or wh whatever, we talk about it off the table, so it's not at the table when we, you know, because we, we are the only two there. We are the only two who have to fight against 12. Mm -hmm. And it's not good for us as Māori to sit there and go against each other mm -hmm. when we can go against the other 12. I fight that way when we can fight the other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever act like people said, I don't have a habit in putting my nose in everything because there are some things that at the table that I don't think uh, my constituency wouldn't worry about it that much. For instance, the people at Walco wouldn't have cared less if we built a theatre in the middle of Hamilton or not. <laughs> so, you know, so, so there, there are things you have to really think about and weigh, weigh up, especially mm. in your Māori wards, you know, uh, because as a Māori ward councillor, in, in, in your normal TRA, you are the Māori, the person for all of it, not, not just this little piece, mm. whereas Tepa and I are for all of what yeah. regional council, and, and we do help each other. So I think it's great that you guys are seeing. I really, oh, really do. Oh, I really, you know, Afi, we can Afi you however we can. Uh, we're not going to tell you how to do the job. But your biggest problem <coughs> is, is the people who vote. You know, uh, tip is right. How do I know that? Because I've got, a, I've got one sitting at home in the envelope that I haven't sent yet. <laughs> but, you know, um, it, it's enticing those people to go and, and post their ballots post their um, election papers because it's no use going thinking, oh, the person next door is going to do it. Because the, the mighty guy in do a lot because everybody goes, oh, he'll be fine. But he wasn't. And he lost in the last election and he was brilliant. How do I know? Because I come from you. you know, and, and so these are the things you can't expect. Find a way to help them to get their votes in if you have to. Because without those votes, you may not get what you need. And the only way to do that is, and don't think that you're not going to make it. Always wake up in the morning and go, that, what am I going to do to get myself out here? Right. And, um, you know, guys, at the end of the day, you put your name up because you know you can do it. You know, you and you want to do it. It's a brilliant place to be. I like it. I, I sit there and I do look at all those white old men. You know, I like this look at them and go. <laughs> but we get some young people on, and, and I must say, uh, Kia ora Jen. Jen here is one of our councillors from um, from this triennium, and she's up for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
climate change person next to her, her of course, is Ms. Farah, who's, who's um, going to stand as well. And I told her to use that. Use it, use it.
biggest learnings that I've had or had.
Tapu, she's of Nazi Tamasiroa, Nazi Maru, Nazi Kukinga, Nazi Power, and Nazi Porau descent. Um, Arama is the current Māori Councillor for South Waikato Tokoro Board. She's also the Chair in, of the Corporate and Regulatory Committee. Um, is also the local government is on the local government steering group um, around the RMA reform, and also is the mayoral candidate for 2022. Wow. Because Māori right to vote 
<coughs> Māori right to be included in decision making. That's what we need to do. We need to be at the table. My first workshop, the, I'm sitting there at the table, I've got my laptop, I'm very studious guys, it's not <laughs> the I read everything, I read everything. And I'm sitting there and I'm all ready to go and the local government New Zealand uh, workshop presenter walks in and goes, I'm so sorry, I'm like, look honey, can you just go make me a coffee and <gasps> start? And I'm like, okay, so you need to be re-educated and I'm going to help you with that. So, you know, this space, this space wasn't necessarily safe, but it's one we belong in. We belong at that table. And when um, I was going through the decision to stand for me and stand for council, I didn't want my beautiful children to have to sit there and go, oh, okay, so do you want to be me or do you want to be a council? I want to be them here. I don't mind if I can hear you get up a car point us. That is, that is what I want. That is what I'm uh, trying to achieve. And for me, I think that's where we belong. And for those of you that go to meetings and you've been elected, own that space. Mm -hmm. Because our tikkuna died so we could be there. With Mokupuna decisions, I want to make sure that the water that we're going to be drinking is going to be safe for my children and their Mokupuna. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, my children, I've got a nine-year-old and an eleven-year-old, and they all go to Kura with Tadu. The nine-year-old goes past the mural candidate sign and goes, Yay, mum, there's my mum! And the eleven-year-old goes, Did you, did you really have to? Did you really have to? <laughs> <laughs> I said to the 11 year old, I said, well, mummy wants to be near. What do you think I should do? And he goes, oh, great. First of all, free fight fortnight for everyone. <laughs> Secondly, I think you should go and cure homelessness. Thirdly, I think as near, you should really be looking at making sure that the fish are going to live. And I said, well, oh, okay, those are really good reasons. But, you know, we have to ask our tamariki and our book of what's actually important to them. Mm -hmm. Because why, are, why am I doing this? It's actually not about me. And on the campaign trail, one thing that I really believe is if in the campaign trail, the first time my community meet me <coughs> is tonight or tomorrow or at some other campaign event, then I have not done my job for the last six years. The first time that my community get to meet me, Kamalabi should have been when I was running around in COVID, <laughs> delivering kai to my kura because I had fun without any kai. The first time they should see me should be when I'm at Children's Day with Auntie Lizzie at the back in the uh, orange scarf doing the sausage sizzle for four hours. Man, I tell you, my hips. Anyway, you know that. For me, that's what being in local government is about. It's being part of my family, part of my community. My brother, he lives in Hauraki, and um, he's very, very committed to uh, Hauraki. And when I said to him I was standing for uh, South Waikato Mere, he goes, oh, you're just lucky Waiho goes, Waiho goes down there and starts in Hauraki. <laughs> so, you know, for me, I'm standing in this area where so I, I, I can fuck a papa too through Whaimu Waka but that's as far as it goes. And so when you think about whakapanaungatanga and you think about all the challenges that we have as Māori, um, that was beautiful to me. Because, you know, um, I have one other mural candidate and I think, I think to myself, gee, if you know, something happens to your whānau, we have to go onto your māai. I want to be able to sit there, I want to be able to up you, and I want to be able to do that after October. So, you know, be true to yourself, hold your truth. Be true to yourself, make your decisions. I have particular issues that I'm really passionate about. Um, I want to make sure that the resource management reforms aren't the three water reforms. I want to make sure that, you know, when we're sitting at the table and we're deciding on growing budgets, whether or not it's going to go to the brand new farm in the driveway or whether or not it's going to go and put 
the uh, tar seal outside the Pohanga Reo, I know where my priority is. And people know that. And those are the decisions that you have the ability mm -hmm. to make when you're on council. And it doesn't matter if you're the mayor or if you're a councillor. If you're at that table, your voice is <laughs> as equal as anybody else's. Do not be afraid, because they will throw every acronym at you. They'll be talking <laughs> about the uh, SPA and then you'll get the NBA and, then, and you're sitting there. You'll have no idea. But all you need to do is look around for your other brown faces, because they will be more than happy to help you. And Kawe his journey, um, when he shared that with me, this is, this is why this forum is so important, because it can be really lonely. Um, luckily for me, I've got my mates on the right who um, I often share calling with. But yeah, so um, I also like to just ask a cousin, tell a cousin, vote for Tippa, ask a cousin, tell a cousin, vote for Adama, stuff like that. Let's go. <laughs>
First hui was the election for the chair. You can just imagine <coughs> one tane vote for that tane, the other tane second man. <laughs> Hinga didn't have a chance. <laughs> Hinga was just sitting there. Interesting. So it's been a real learning process. Now it's really important for us to be like on these boards. For, for me, it's really important for me to be in Kafia and Wana because not born now. I was born in Kafia. Me and my husband and our father, our eight tamadaki, moved back to Kafia 30 years ago. So we've been living in Kafia. Now, there's a lot of people in Kafia that think they're from Kafia, <laughs> but they just come back from I don't know where. It's like, they're not even. But they think they're from Kafia. So that's why it's really important to have a voice on the Kuaris. Also, with the council, who are the Hokaina? When there's anything, there was a memorandum that was signed, and I was there with Uncle Kenny Poruma back in the day between the Runango Nati Hikairo and the council. Now, there's been issues that have been brought up, but if I wasn't sitting there, it wasn't, even, it wasn't even a discussion at the table. I said, hang on, <coughs> I was there, there, there. They looked through their papers, etc. Yeah. So those are the, you know, it's really important for us to be sitting at the table. <coughs> Kōrero. Have a presence. So it's been a real learning um, experience for me, but succession is really important. And I believe in myself that my mother was succession planning me to do what I'm doing now. Um, yeah. That's how our tūpuna work. My mother and my grandmother, my nana, they were succession planning my, me to be what I'm doing now. In kāwhia. Not only on the marae, but in the community as well. There's the bigger picture. And also the succession planning with our tamariki, what we, every time they turned it, uh, old enough to vote, Lord and I would take them to the voting and take them, and this is how you've done. So that's a succession learning yeah. as you go along. So right through down to Amu here, who's here tonight, our youngest, yeah. who's 18. So, and to many is here, I've got two of my tamariki and one of my wokupuna here. So succession planning is really important. You are all awesome. Say I'm awesome. You have to get up and say you're awesome because you can do what we are all talking about. I honestly have to. That's how I think. So I'm not going to talk too long because I'm getting a little bit, you know, passionate. But it's been a real... So I just want to end a, 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 a good note. So um, unopposed. So I think it's back on again. <laughs>
I didn't know that I was um, an opposed, it was, the CE was ringing me on Friday night, but he has also built relationships with the CE, the mayor. I like making friends. <laughs> we, go, <laughs> we go out for cups of tea and whatever, but like that's just me. I like making friends whoever they are. And the thing is, is that like, um, you work in, you, you build up good relationships and they respect you and I respect them. Yeah. So it works, and that's how um, I work and uh, to achieve the goals, the bigger goals in the picture. So we all have our own ways of doing it and that's good. You know, we're all, we're all unique in our own way. So whatever goal you see, you do it your way. You do it you. Kapai, marama, kapai. No reira, kamitua e konei, tēnā te mihi ki a koutou katoa, ki a koe kawe, aroha, a te nabju, e ki a koe kisi, you're doing a fantastic job. No reira, tēnā tāpā katoa. Once again, please give our panelists a... Thank <laughs> you. 